Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. Thank you for joining me and today I thought that I would talk you through how I layer up my paints when I'm doing a fluid art painting, particularly when it is a dark background. So I have already painted this painting for you to see and as you can see it has a really dark Payne's grey and deep sapphire base to it and to try to keep the colours from going muddy and also to keep the flowers really bright and vibrant and not being eaten up by the dark paint. I have a particular kind of layering method of how I put my paints down. So I thought I would share that with you today. Um, this has got a gloss varnish on it. I did it a few weeks ago and just finished it off recently. Um, and so I've got all my paints all kind of out for you to see. I've got the Amsterdam white and the pearl paints, which will make up the white flowers and also the balloon dips in the centre. I've got some lovely greens. I have a mix of opaque, translucent and metallic paints that I put on in a particular order so as to get the most vibrant and bright colours possible. I've got some lovely pinks in different shades and different iridescent and opaque uh, consistencies. And I've got some purples and I've got this beautiful um, portrait pink and some coral which make these lovely kind of orangey flowers. So I've already recorded it and I'm going to talk you through my process of how I achieve the lovely bright colours and hopefully you'll enjoy watching it. So here is this painting. I've already outlined the shape of my heart with a white metallic paint and I have also painted my edges in this dark colour as well which is Payne's Grey and Decoart Deep Sapphire mixed together which make this really lovely dark shiny blue and I'm just now putting the outline in and then with my hairdryer just making sure that the paint goes over the edge of the canvas and with my palette knife I am catching the drips and making sure that the edges are lovely and smooth and covered with paint and now I am adding the same colour onto the inside of the heart and I'm spreading it around with my palette knife because I don't want to use my hair dryer to go over the shape of that heart. And this is really one of the key things to making my painting really bright. I've got the metallic white on the edge of the heart and now I'm using my Amsterdam pearl paints in the centre just to add a really whimsical touch to the painting. Um, those look white when they go on but they will be coloured when the paint dries. And then I'm just using some translucent, very pale pastel colours to outline the shape of this heart. So there isn't any dark paint going on that outline. And then with my balloon, I'm just blending the colours together just to make a really nice outline to the heart. But because I haven't used the dark paint on that outline, it really helps to keep the painting really bright and fresh. But with adding those pastel colours, it just adds some really nice details and gives it, again, a nice sort of whimsical kind of feel to it. And with my stick, I just pull out a few little bits of the metallic paint just to add some tenderly bits and just to make it pretty. So this will be all the background to my lovely bright flowers that I'm going to add. And then this is the key part to making my flowers really light and bright. 
I put an opaque colour down first and then over the top of that I add a metallic or a translucent iridescent paint and that just makes really lovely bright flowers that have contrasting colours in them and then the white I put down just the normal flat opaque white and then I put some pearl colours over the top of the white and now with my straw I'm just roughly making shapes and it doesn't matter too much what those shapes are like at the moment they don't have to resemble exact flowers it's just to get a rough proportion and a rough balance to the painting and with my stick I will just shape in some petals and add more colour where I think it might need it but again at the moment everything is still quite rough all those all those colours are making up that lovely bright background for the finished painting later and with my balloon I'm just dipping into those colours just to make again nice flower shapes and I can decide which ones I want to keep and which ones later on I want to change and now I'm putting down some greens again some opaque and some metallic and iridescent and then I'm just adding some more tenderly bits this one is an opaque colour so that'll be relatively bright the translucent ones won't be quite as bright because they will be over the top of the dark so just some lovely greens to break the colour up and just to make it really pretty and make the whole painting flow together nicely so there's a really nice mix of colours there some really nice soft edges the shape of the heart is still intact it's still symmetrical and at this point I don't know what I will change later so I'm just balancing the colours and making some pretty shapes and just trying out different colours as well just to see what combination works and adjusting any little bits that I think aren't quite symmetrical so that's that now that it is dry and now that it's dry I'm assessing it and in the same way as I did when it was wet I'm adding petals these are the white ones and I'm adding some white opaque paint and then I'm adding some pearl paint as well just to make really lovely petals and because I've got the painting underneath that's dry it's already got really nice wispy shapes around the edge of the flowers so they don't just look round I guess and then I'm just looking at the colours that I've got here and I'm just seeing what I think needs defining a little bit more and changing some colours that maybe I'm not so happy with So in particular I thought I would like a little bit of a more orangey colour so I've got that opaque paint and then I'm adding the metallic over the top and it just makes a really lovely bright corally peachy orange and by using my straw I can just make lovely petal shapes and I just thought that it added 
a nice different colour to the painting just to really brighten it up quite a lot. And because it's never had dark paint underneath it, the colours that I put on now still stay lovely and bright. And by putting the lighter opaque colour down first, it just means that it stays lovely and bright. And with the translucent and iridescent metallic paints over the top of the opaque, it just gives it a really lovely shine and a variation to the colour of the petals. Yeah, those sort of creamy ones that I added, I decided that I preferred them to be orange and I wanted a little bit more of that orange on the painting. So I just went over the top of those with these nice orangey peachy coloured flowers. So I will carry on with that and then you can see that when it is dry. So here is this painting. I have varnished it with a Liquitex high gloss varnish because that really blends all those different finishes of paint together, especially as I added them on when they were dry. And it just gives it a really nice shine. So I will show you some of these lovely flowers. That's some nice pink and you can see the nice peachy orange and those lovely white ones and they just really have a nice definition of petals in those white ones. Some of the green and some of the original pink from the original kind of underpainting. I'll show you that white one there. You can see how those fluffy edges from the original pore painting that I did blend nicely with the flowers that I've added afterwards to just give that nice kind of soft petal. And I've added lots of little green leaves as well. And you can see how those greens kind of blend together. And then that centre of the heart is done with the pearl paints and they were white when they went on but when they dry they mix to be all different colours. And I've grouped together some of the paints that have gone together to make the colour of these flowers. So I've got the Amsterdam white with the pearl colours there. I've got the Amsterdam Payne's Grey with the Deco Art Deep Sapphire to make that really lovely deep blue shiny base. This combination with the Deco Art Coral with this Liquitex um, Portrait Pink makes these really lovely orangey flowers which I just think are really lovely. I've got all my different greens here, which are nice. Uh, the pinks that have gone together nicely, that nice Pabio Violet Blue, which just in this flower, you can see how the pink kind of changes with that sort of bluey, purpley, iridescent colour to it and also that lovely deep magenta and then the lilac-y purpley colours. So I'm going to turn this light off and then you'll be able to see how that shines. So here is this painting now that I've turned the light off and it's quite a dark day today and you can see how bright those flowers still look just lovely and shiny and really bright 
and I will turn the painting slightly and you can see how those metallic colours just really shine in this light. The white flowers have got some pearl paint in them which just makes those petals shine and you can really see how the paleo blue violet shines on those pink flowers as well. Now I have put the high gloss varnish on here so all those colours just blend together nicely and in different lights you know they do look slightly different. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.